Listen, friends, I'll tell you something. Every time, every time I get into something like this, okay, look at, look at it. It's, so what happens in Southern exposure, our home is Southern exposure. It shoots right across our front of our house, summer, winter, but obviously in the summer, the sun's way up. But in the winter, the sun is so much lower. It literally is like right there. It's like, it's like this, you know what I'm saying? It just, it's beautiful. We were, we were in a good spot for uh, solar. Like I can't even see what I'm, I can't even see you guys. It's so bright in my eyes right here right now. And, and the warmth, it is beautiful. Now, um, 66 mounts. I got this saw torn down. Iron Horse sent this saw for Hogan and I, well, actually me and Iron Horse gave it to Hogan for his birthday. These are tough to know when the mounts are busted. Uh, and me and me and him give it to Hogan for his birthday. That was the plan. So I've got these mounts out. I've never done this. This is my first time doing this, friends. Straight up, okay? And there's a trick to getting the mounts back in the saw. And you put, you put your, so here it is. I'll show it to you. Uh, I'll show it to you this way. There's another one. I don't think I need to change another one. I think I got them pretty much. Yeah, see that one's, that one's still good. And I think this one is too. Yeah, this one's good too. So, so those are good, but this is what they are. I'm gonna take it right out of the bag. And this is a two part system. This screws into the saw and it's got two little nipples right there. And you, you know what I mean? You take your, your actual mount bolt and you put it in, you put it in the mount, right in, the part that screws into the saw. Now that I've done that, um, I screw it into the saw. So these are the two, and actually now that I know that, I'm gonna fix the front. Here, here it is, I'm gonna show it to you. It's right there. Can you guys see that? Right there, so these, they go in there. Friends, this is the first time I've ever done this. It isn't that hard. Uh, I thought there was a bunch of linkages and stuff and you had to, but so what you do is you put it in there like that, then you get your wrench. I think I popped my filter off though, my gas filter. I probably did. Like you could take this gas tank right off. I'm just leaving, leaving that part in there, uh, which I probably should have it off really, but I don't need to. So uh, I grab my wrench and I use the nut or I use the little thing and I just, I screw it in. Now what I like to do is give it a couple turns. I don't want to bust the plastic off. So I just, I give it a little turn. Then what I do is I grab a set of needle nose pliers and I, I go after those two little uh, nipples, right? And I give it a little turn. That's all. Just give it a little tweak. And it's done. And that sucker's in there. I put my glasses back on so I can see what the hell's going on. Yeah, yeah, here we go. I know you guys can't see it, but I think you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, there she goes. There, that's it, just, a, just a, a little squeak. And then to take it off, because you've tightened it up, you gotta hold it with something so I don't turn and then back it out. This saw is gonna be stiff now. I like it. Let's get the big one. Where'd you go? There you are. We'll back our nut back out. Boop. There we go. There she is. So now, before I get too excited, I'm gonna check my front one because I know, I know, I know I screwed it. I'm gonna back this out. I'm gonna see if I can do this. Cause I've got one more big one right there. I screwed the first one. I didn't know how to, I cut the freaking screw off. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing friends. So this saw, this saw is gonna be stiff now. I like it. But, so I gotta see if I can get this out of here. I don't know, I should be able to. Yeah, it's coming out. Here it comes. I'm very excited about this. Iron Horse was walking me through this. Thanks, Harvey. 
and Justin, our bathtub man. There we go. Here's the deal. I'm going to show this to you. Where's my big one? There it is right there. Ajax had the parts. Donnie, jo Johnny and them were looking for us at Walker's. I had everybody looking. There's what happens. They break off. They just break off. So that's inside the saw still. Okay? So I was, I didn't know what the hell was going on, friends. I just, <laughs> me and Nick have done some strange things too. This is it. This saw's going to stiffen right up. Hogan's going to be stoked. So uh, there it is. That's, this is what this looks like. Right there. Whoops, there's some gas. Thought you might want some gas. Oh, this is going to be deadly, is what this is going to be. I I'm so freaking excited right now. I'm spilling gas everywhere. No joke. No joke. I wonder if I should just take this out. I wonder if that'll come out of there. It's kind of got like a boot or something. It's torn, but... Oh, there we go. There we go. There's the whole gas tank right there, friends. There it is. <laughs> I'm getting good at this stuff. I love it. So there's our mounts. Two there, two there, and two down the bottom. And they're all together. <laughs> I love it. Now I'll go clean this thing out. Back in a flash. Okay. Power saw. Going back together. Hmm. Um. I see. There. Okay, that makes more sense. There's that one. That one. That one. That one. That one. And is my fuel line in? That one. Okay. There. That felt better. Okay, I'm going to get this grommet in. Mr. Iron Horse, thank you. Hogan was ecstatic. We got this thing running good, all online now. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. I might even give her a scrub. Um, it's getting warm though. So, I wonder. <sighs> I wonder if you guys would. Uh, want to see this happen on the back of a pickup truck here's the deal if you're on site okay you're on site somewhere and uh you want to file your power saw right and you you come up and you think oh the tailgate's too high because you got a four by on site and it's too high to lay your chest on to to do this right well there's an easy remedy for that go on a log somewhere but if you want to do it on a pickup, because you got your tools and you, you just gas and everything, and you're all that's here. You just little workbench. It's my workbench. It's always my workbench. So what you do is you get a little something to stand on. I usually use a piece of wood. And uh, matter of fact, it's right here. Come here, you. Right there. That's it. Boom. Now, it brings me up. One step higher. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. You can literally put your chest on the power saw, which I like to do, actually. I, I do like being right over top of my power saw. Um, come here, you. There. Now, there's another way to do it, too. And I'll show you. Okay. Let's get you guys a little bit closer. So... One of the most important things to do when you're when you're filing a power saw is to be able to have your tip so that it doesn't move, friends. Right? 
So I think what we'll do for this particular episode is we're gonna we're gonna hand file in the back of a pickup. Now I've done this before. Okay, now we've got all right. Clean your surface. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing. You guys just hang tough. I'll bring you back in a second. All right. So friends, a lot of it, it's it's tough to get comfortable sometimes, isn't it, to file your power saw, isn't it? So especially on site when you're on site. So again, friends, um, I think you have an idea what you're supposed to do, don't you? Yeah, because just look at your chain when it's brand new. Take a look at it, right? Okay, friends. So just take a look. We'll just look at this steady line straight from here down, okay? Here's our stock chain. It's right there. There, there, there's a bone stock chain. You can see the, the C I'm talking about, right? Let's, here we are. Here's our chain. Stock. The C is here. Working corner. Working corner. C. This is the C. The gullet I refer to is this part here, this black, darker line. This, this is basically the, the, the bottom of the chain is the gullet. Now up here, do you guys, anybody remember the baby C? See that, the baby C? The only reason this chain cut still well is because I used a 530 seconds file right there. There's our working corner. It has a C, but then it has all the gullet left in it. That's the baby C project, okay? But to what we're talking about right now, this is what we want. See this chain here? That's that's to the line. But look at from the raker straight back, friends. We are to the strap. Right to the strap, okay? This will cut. Now it, it's the same. You see all the way back. You, you see what I'm saying, friends? Okay. That's what I'm talking about. So that's what you want to maintain. Now, the bottom one is a grind. This is how I, and we just started. You can see the little, the gullet stays in this one. It'll stay in. There's the gullet, you see? Okay. So there's the, the grind. That's, that's my grinder, you see? And that ends up looking like quite a bit different. You see? Yeah, there. Oh, yeah. I love it, me grinder. Okay, friends. Just go with the line they give you on there. Drop your file in there. You know, uh, here's the deal. If you want, when you're... Here, here, my, my suggestion to you is the chain cuts better on the half part of the... The, the half back of the chain. To be honest with you, filing a brand new chain is harder than anything because you got to train it. So I'm I'm basically just rolling this straight through right now. Oh look at that! I busted my uh, my seal all with something. Oh yeah, I did. There goes my seal all right there. That's a shame. Oh well, ten bucks down the drain. <laughs> I smelt it. So. But what the nice thing is here, friends, is my tip is stationary. It's up against something, so it can't go anywhere. My chest is right on it, and I'm right on top, and I can see my working corner like this. And actually, if I had a small... Actually, that might work. If I brought you guys over here, boom. You see what I'm saying? Look at that view. See? There I am. So that, that's all I'm doing, making sure they're, they're sharp. It's not it's not brain science. Don't don't worry, friends. It's not you know if if your file goes like that, <clears throat> the next stroke, straighten it out, straighten it out. But remember to pull. It, it see this tooth's gone. This tooth's like literally it's it's gone. Yeah, this chain's this, this thing's finished. That's gonna break off when it hits the next piece of wood. 
You'll notice when you get back on your chain, friends, that you do end up hitting the strap a little bit, right? You do. There's another one. So, so this chain is all over, like all over. All the teeth are different sizes. This is that one we had on for that video. So, but this gives you an idea what I'm doing, right? Some tips, okay? And have it out in front of you so you can see that top plate right there. That gives you an idea of, of what's going on. And then what you want to do is you want to be able to have, you want to be able to have a straight edge, okay? Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You want to be able to have a straight edge like this, and you want to be able to put it up against the, the working tip right there. And you want to be able to see space between the tip, the working corner, and the strap. Friends, like this. This is what I'm talking about, okay? So if the working corner was back further, do you know what I mean? Like back, like, I want us to understand this. I want all of us to understand what I'm talking about. See, there is no point to grab. And this isn't even terrible. Like this isn't bad. This is round chain, but look, it, it will cut. It, it will still cut, but not like we want it to, friends. You see, it's going to slope back. He's going down a scary road, this fella. There's no hook. See? There's nothing from the working corner. Granted, it is round chain, but it doesn't matter. You still should be able to... Yeah, this guy's sloping back. So round chain's not a very good example for that, friends. To be honest, it's not. I should have a... Um, I was looking for a... Um, Chisel. Th this guy's actually starting to go. I can show you this. This guy's actually starting to go down the wrong road. Right here. Let's look at this. Right here. Look. You see? So, it, it, it's there. D don't get me wrong. But see what's happening? I'm knocking the gullet. I, what happens is from my working corner... I go straight down, I hit the gullet, and I lose that little... You guys know what I'm saying. I'm trying to hold this thing in place here, right? But if your gullet, if you lose, you guys know what I'm saying. I know you do. This will still cut, but he's going down a slope, slippery road. Because as we come back further on the chain, it gets smaller. And you're going to end up with this freaking slanted back tooth that goes like this. Not good. I told you that, didn't I? Like this you would lose that space right away. And now you're not creating a chip, you're creating dust because it's batting against the wood. You want this. You wanna be able to come from your working corner, which is right there, straight down and have space. You've got to have space there. Right, friends? You wanna see air between that. You don't want it to lay back. That wants to be able to go straight up and you should see a little piece of space of of air in there, okay, friends? Because that gives you the that gives you the C that we talk about. We just we just call it the C, okay? But you can see I'm into the strap. Now, if you're repairing a chain that's really in bad shape, don't feel bad about changing the angle of that file down like this. See, now I've, so what I've basically done is lifted this hand up and gone down. Even for two or three strokes, one, two, three with a brand new file, that pulls that gullet out, then get back into your groove and do your cleanup strokes. Okay? I think we're done this side, actually. Yeah, we are. We're done. I can see it. So there we go. If I might get lucky. Yeah, I do. I got my chest on here hard enough. So what I'll do is I'll just... I'll just put this here. This will help. It's not going to solve my problem, but it will help. So now I've just put this over here and basically I've switched hands. Here I go. But I'm going to tell you something, friends. This pulling, okay?
The pulling helps, friends. Big time. Okay? This. You put your elbow against your, your power saw or uh, wrap around. The pulling, look. I, I'm just going to pull. Strictly pull. Watch. And I'm just going to use this hand as a guide. Watch this. Look at I'm I'm Friends, I'm not... How can I show you this better? Just just trust me. I'm not even... I, I'm just got my hand on I'm pulling. I have to have something there that's going to fly up in the air. Okay? So look, because I'm pushing down. Okay? So... Use your push-pull technique, okay? All right, we're way down on the chain here, friends. You'll see chips come up flying. After we do this, we'll take it out for a quick cut. But these are little tips that'll help in the back of the tailgate. Don't, listen. Stop counting your strokes. File it until it's sharp. Until that file glides through there. There we go. I change my angles all the time. I'll change it in, in a one tooth, I'll change my angle. Okay, so I just wanted to bring you guys along on the back of the tailgate show. In lieu of my very first filing video, in this very truck, I believe. You see what's going on? You see the angle, you can see it. If you want, I can get you guys right over top which basically is like that isn't it so now you're almost you're, you're literally right over top of me you see you see yeah look so you can see the angle i am on and, and i'll be honest friends i find the best angle for filing this way is level or even a combination of almost a little boat down and then up. I know that sounds crazy, but it is. I call it the boat. And then my cleanup cuts are straight across and you got yourself a wicked cut and chain. Straight up, try it. I'm not joking you. Watch most professional uh, guys, guys that, that are production cutters. You'll hear this every time they file their saw. This noise. Hear that? Guys ask me that all the time. Why are you dragging your file back? Oh, I'm not, actually. See, I'm moving now. I'm not too concerned about my first cuts. My major concern is my last four or five, or even three for that matter. Okay, there we go. I hope this helps. It's just a matter of doing it, friends, is what it is. Hop on it and do it. Any questions, leave them in the comment section. We'll get them answered. We should go cut with this after, hey? Okay, so I'm not even gonna bother with the rakers. We're gonna go out and cut with this right now. Let's go. It's uh, hey, let's do it. Let's just go out for a cut. These handlebars are gonna, I need two longer bolts for these handlebars, uh, the wraparound bar. But now we got our solo with the new mounts. We got a shine on it and we'll just pick a, we'll pick a log here, give her a buck. Watch out for poop on your way out, because nobody likes stepping in poop.
perfect right there. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Check this cut out, okay? Go. Yeah, this feels good. Whoa, Bucking. Where are you going, Bucking? See if we need to choke it. Oh man, I think back, friends, to 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 that time, right in there, right in that old carport of mine, over that vice, looking at the vice and looking at my chain and inspecting it, getting down there and going like, "What am I doing wrong? What's happening? Why is this doing this? Forget it. I'm just gonna buy a new bar, new chain. I gotta cut. Race to the saw shop before she closed down because I'm cutting at six in the morning, seven in the morning, you know. And then I figured it out over trials and tribulations and frustrations and joys and victories and understandings. And it was in me to figure this out. <clears throat> Excuse me, I wanted to figure it out, so I did. But it wasn't until I, I loosened my brain up and loosened my, my thought process up and thought, why am I, just do your own thing. Enjoy the journey and that could mean like this. Or it could mean like this, like this. It could mean straight across, pushing down, digging that gullet out, steady, always. It's your journey. If you want to learn to cut fast, you're going to learn to cut fast. I wanted to learn to cut fast and straight. Bar maintenance has got a ton to do with it, friends. A ton to do with it. There's so much to learn on this journey. It's so fun. If I can help in any way, friends, leave a comment. I'll do my best to get it. If you're really struggling and you want to talk to me, shoot me an email. We'll get at her. We'll get you cutting straight and fast and smooth. Smooth is fast. Pick up a raker gauge. Friends, be kind. Welcome to the new subscribers. I see you coming in like crazy. Johnny McMillan, love you, brother. Over and out, friends. Be kind.